Hi there, and thanks for joining us as we walk you through a few different options for wireless microlinear actuator control, ranging from simple push button setups through to more robust control setups that will integrate with your smart home. First up is the Actuonics Remote Control Kit. The Remote Control Kit will work with any 12 volt S series actuator from Actuonics, and it's super simple to use. All you have to do is connect it to power, plug your actuator in, and you can use the remote to extend or retract the actuator. It does come with two remotes, and it's important to note with this kit, you have no option to stop the stroke of the actuator midway. It's gonna go all the way out and retract all the way back in. A second option for wireless microlinear actuator control is the Actuonix IoT Servo Shield, designed specifically for wireless actuator control. Plug in the particle photon module, and you can wirelessly control up to four R-series actuators using your cell phone or many of the automation options offered by IFTTT.com. The IFTTT service supports Amazon Alexa, Google Home, and Apple Home Kit, giving you custom voice control options. Unlike the remote control kit, the IoT Servo Shield affords you the option to command your actuator to a specific position along its stroke length. A third option for wireless actuator control is using our actuators with an Arduino board that's Bluetooth or Wi-Fi enabled. Now this is a little more complex as it requires some knowledge of code, but it gives you more flexibility in terms of inputs. You can use Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, environmental sensors, etc. to control your project. When using an Arduino board with our actuators, we recommend the R-Series, as the R-Series is plug and play compatible with a standard rotary servo. If you choose another line of actuators, just be aware that some additional components may be required. So there you have it, three different options for wireless actuator control. Thanks for watching. For more of these videos, please like and subscribe, and hopefully we'll see you in the next video.